Hi, this is Catherine, a technical writer for cPanel LLC. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and manage cPanel technical support tickets with the WHM Create Support Ticket interface. I'm also going to show you how to manage access to your server with the cPanel Customer Portal. First, log into WHM as the root user. Click Support in the left-hand menu, and then click Create Support Ticket. Click Get Started under I Need Help with an Existing Feature or Technical Issue. Your cPanel ID is the set of credentials that you use to log into the store, cPanel Support Portal, or Manage 2 Billing System. If you're not logged into a cPanel ID session when you try to create a support ticket, you will need to log in to transfer to the Submit a Request page. If you're already logged in, the browser will go ahead and take you there directly. Here, you will enter a brief description of your technical problem as the subject. In the description field, we strongly recommend that you include a step-by-step -step guide about how you found an error, any ways you tried to fix that error, and any information the system gave you regarding that error. For example, an HTTP 500 code or a terminal error message. If you're having trouble identifying the best way to describe your technical issue, read the How to Provide Detailed Replication Steps for Technical Support article linked below the description text field. The ticket system will attempt to automatically enter your licensed IP address and support access ID. If the system cannot locate your licensed IP address or support access ID, you can find them by navigating to your WHM support menu, then clicking Support Center. The Contact cPanel menu contains both your licensed IP address and your support access ID. You may also find your support access ID and licensed IP address through the terminal. Use SSH to log into your root user and run the commands displayed on screen. Next, you can choose to check the Deny Server Access box, which requires double verification. Denying server access can prevent or delay cPanel technical support from resolving your ticket. If you have any log files, screenshots, or other attachments that relate to your issue, use the Attachments field to upload them to the ticket. From there, click I agree to the terms of service and hit submit. Do not close the window because you still have more information to enter. These articles all look great, but I still need help, so I'll click no. I need help here. Give it a second or two for the Update Server Information Interface to show up. Now that it's here, you can prepare your server for cPanel technical support by clicking Prepare Server for Support. This will open a new window to your server's Grant cPanel Support Access Interface. Click the Grant Access button to give cPanel technical support access to your server. Once you click the button, the server will prepare itself for cPanel technical support, close out this tab, and send you back to your ticket. Now you see a server prepared message where that button once was. There are still a couple of things that you have to do. In the Login IP and Port for SSH Access menu, enter your Login IP in the leftmost box and the port number in the right one. If you don't remember your port number, run the command displayed on screen in your terminal. Next, you can look at this username for SSH Access field. If you have disabled root logins, you can click the option next to the blank text field and enter your wheel user. A wheel user is a user that can become root if needed, but that does not start out with that level of permission. If you click this option, another menu will appear, the root escalation method menu. If you choose sudo, the wheel user will escalate to become a root user. Now I'll enter that account's password here. There are two options below password visibility. We recommend that you keep the default option selected for information security. Now for the server notes. Clicking this opens a text field where you can securely enter any information that you don't want to turn over in plain text. Finally, there is another refuse access to server checkbox. Instead, you want to click the orange save and close button underneath it. This saves your ticket and redirects you to the My Requests page. From here, you can click Add Slash Update to return to that Update Server Information interface. Once your ticket has been handled by cPanel Technical Support, you can go back to WHM, then navigate to the Grant cPanel Support Access interface, and click the Revoke button. Now you've seen how to submit and manage a cPanel Technical Support ticket. You know how to grant and revoke support access to your server. 
For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.net or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Have a great day, and thank you for choosing cPanel.